Okay, people, so we have all our data in a structure that we can use, all right? In this one, we are going to start building the table to display all of these data, all right? So what I need you to do is, in your root, create a new folder and call this one utils, like this, all right? And inside your utils folder, create a new file and call this data table dot pi like that all right and in here i will start with this as always you are free to copy this all right and now let's call this class data table like that all right capitalize that all right and i will remove this window okay and also remove it from here so data table all right change this to a capital letter t and this to a capital letter t all right so this is what we're going to start with now up here we need to also import uh, what we're going to import is the builder okay so from kv.lang import builder like that okay and now now that we have this for now we are also going to import pymongo all right for testing so from pymongo we are going to import the mongo client okay then let's also import our unordered dictionary so from collections import the ordered ordered dict okay like that now what i need you to do is go back to your admin and i need you to copy this stocks function all right this is not going to be there in our final item but for development purposes now for testing i want you to copy this get products function and let's paste it down here okay so it should work the same way all right you should paste it like this all right now what i need you to do in your init is say products is equal to get actually itself to get products okay like that and that should give you the structure that we need to use all right and by the way let me just copy this structure all right so I'll just copy this okay we'll need to use this one for reference so copy it to here like that all right now the first thing i want to get is the titles okay so the titles is product name, product code, product weight, all of that stuff, all right? So we'll simply say, in, still in our init function, we'll simply say self.call, self.column titles, like this, actually. Let's just call it column titles, all right? So call titles is going to be equal to a list and we're going to add the keys for k in products dot keys all right simple enough next thing i want to get is how many rows we are going to have for this table the rows being these all right so these are the columns these are the rows okay so we're going to say rows underscore length is going to be equal to the length of product and calls titles the first one okay so this is going to be product code so the length of product codes is the length of our rows simple enough just test this out so print call underscore titles then finally print rows length control s to save this let's 
go down here python 3 and this is in utils slash we call this data table to pi all right close this go back and we get the first one in 37 for our products okay which is correct now what we are going to do is start adding these okay so let's create the structure for this so go up here right and simply say builder dot load underscore string all right like that and so this works the same way we use our kv files all right so first things first let's define the root widget data table all right simple enough and for this data table we do not need to pass actually let's pass in the id all right main underscore win and now let's create our recycle view which is what we are going to use to create our table all right so recycle view and the recycle view requires this property called view class so the view class is essentially what widgets you want to display on your viewport using a recycle view all right simple enough for this one we are going to start with a normal label okay and that is it for this one actually let's give this an id and the id is going to be table underscore floor okay then the recycle view needs you to give it a type of layout and this layout has to be a recycle view compatible layout so you can either have a recycle box layout or a recycle grid layout the recycle box layout works the same way as a normal box layout and a recycle grid layout works the same way as a normal grid layout all right for this one we are going to use the recycle grid layout and we are going to say calls is equal to five because we have five titles okay so simple enough now inside here we need to def define the default underscore size all right this is not optional and for x it's going to be none for y it's going to be 250 okay let's start with that and then the default underscore size hint so for x it's going to be one for y it's going to be none all right simple enough and size underscore hint underscore y is none and finally the height is going to be self dot minimum underscore height so we do this to make sure that the height is updated every time we add widgets okay so with that said i would say we are done all right okay so let's also add some spacing spacing of five should do the trick all right so remember we require a label right so let's go down here and let's start adding stuff so what we're going to do is say table underscore data is equal to an empty list and finally for t in call titles simply smoothly say table data to append and what do we want to append we want to append a dictionary of values first value being text the key sorry being text and the value being the string of t like that all right so that is done what we are going to do now is say self dot ids dot table flow i believe that's what we call this dot data okay so let's go back and check so what we're going to do now is the recycle view requires you to give it data okay and it's going to take that data and create labels and present them to your screen all right so table flow go back 
and let's say the data is equal to table data control s to say this run it here and sure enough we get our products all right so everything checks out now we are going to stop here for now because now this is 10 minutes all right so we're going to stop here questions comments leave them down below otherwise i'll catch you in the next one